Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and we will be playing a 2v2 battle in the map Industrial Zone. Of course, as you can see, this is the sandbox version by that uranium uh, symbol at the top of the battle screen. Okay, and so we'll be playing uh, with the mole and the wasp. And there's actually a very interesting thing that happens in this battle with the mole and my ally's mole. And you can already guess what it is, but uh, it, it'll come and I'll tell you when it does come. But anyways, enough with that. We will be uh, playing the sandbox, so enjoy. Okay, so we do some scouting, of course. Scouting is very important, uh, very vitally important. And getting that naval shipyard out in deployment time is also important. Okay, so big containers have just recently spawned uh, on the land for me and the navy for my ally. And yeah, basically summed it up. Okay, so it looks like the assault is going here. And I have to use a naval strike boost to kill him. Because scouts are very, very important in terms of knowledge. So, if he scouted even a little bit more, he would know that I would have a, a level 3 HQ. Uh, and that might ruin things up by a little bit. Because him not knowing that I have a level 3 HQ makes him doubt that I might rush him. So, it's very important to deny scouting early on. And looks like blue is moving deltas onto the land from that scout with the wasp. So we can fast forward a little bit. Okay, so these enemies are trying to scout us with a couple of assaults, but their attempts are failing. Ooh, Viking has been spotted. Okay, and that forces me to upgrade my shipyard as a response along with upgrading my prototype factory to level 2. Okay. So laying a couple mines as a solid defense is not a bad idea, especially since uh, blue is... Yeah, blue is now producing vikings as well. So these deltas are trying to deny scouting uh, to see, like, you know, what blue has on the land as his base. Okay, but we can see that Vikings are here. Okay, and as a response, my ally also has to upgrade his shipyard to level 2. Okay, uh, Mole is out, of course, and going for some Hawks as well as backup, since Hawks are a really good counter to Seraphim. Okay, and uh, the Wasp is trying to scout both green and blue, and... It's a pretty good scout. We can see that he has HQ level 3. Uh, some deltas. A level 2 pro do No, not prototype. Level 2 X facility. And what does green have? Green is just building his level 1 uh, X facility. Okay, meanwhile, blue does not have a scout over here. Trying to get a scout, but not able to. Okay, getting another big container with the mole and the wasp. Nice. Okay, so yeah, the mole is actually very helpful in terms of healing. Okay, so a big container spawned here, and blue is really all up on this container. So yeah, sending in my heroes to do some damage. Okay, turrets up. And it's that Delta's death. But these Vikings have naval, naval strike. The one thing that I don't like about Navy is that they have naval strike. Uh, but then again, uh, naval strike is just there to, because uh, Navy units are restricted to a small portion of the map. It make it kind of makes sense. Anyway, Seraphim on ground mode to intercept right here and make sure that my mole does not capture the container and get out of their wasp. Come on, oh. wasp didn't make it, poor wasp, well anyways let's see, can we drill the seraphim, let's see, Ooh, we're drilling the seraphim, wow, 
normally, uh, people would keep Seraphim in the air, but, wow, he's drilling Seraphim. That was hilarious. Okay, so, under fire, of course. And Hawks into the rescue. Let's kill that Seraphim. Kill it. Come on, come on. Nice. Seraphim down. Okay, let's try to take down that one Viking. Pesky Viking. Okay. Nice shot. Yeah, nice shot, as a rifleman would say. Okay, but anyways. Ooh, here it is. Two moles repairing each other. Now this... This is epic. As you guys can see, on the left hand side, where my mole is indicated, uh, you can see how quickly my mole has uh, been regenerated in terms of health. And keep in mind that I am in one time speed right now. Okay, and so I ask my ally to get some repairing for my mole, because I need some repairing. Okay, and so you guys can see, that my mole is being repaired very fast and it's only on one times speed so that is very very fast uh, recovery especially in terms for the mole since the mole has a lot of HP and armor okay so yeah that's epic okay and so with that little scout we can see that okay blue has the fourth level of HQ. Uh, green still has HQ level 3. And yeah, so forth. But green is kind of spreading his base. That's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, level 2 X facility with the Seraphim. Also going for a fourth level of HQ while going for Avia factories and airfields. Okay. Okay, so nothing out of the extraordinary. The container is gonna spawn right here any second now. Okay, so it looks like uh, Green is spreading his base out very fast. So I guess Green might be going for a space system. Probably somewhere over here. Because he already has anti air over here. And I think he's planning on building a space system. Either way, capturing this container is very useful. Seraphim has been spotted. Okay. And so, Hawks are sent to kill that Seraphim. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Hawks are very slow and not even maneuverable. So, yeah, my Hawks have a hard time killing a moving Seraphim. Where are my Hawks there? Right there. Okay, Seraphim is heavily armored. Uh, withstanding lots of anti-air, but yeah, Seraphim cannot liter they literally cannot fly past Mole's turrets. Uh, Mole's turrets have weak HP, but they deal a lot of damage. And as you guys can see, I'm building a nuclear launcher so that I may nuke them. Okay. And my ally says that... Mm, yeah, nukes aren't epic, and let's do a grand attack together, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's do that, let's do that, okay, because if we fight with the JCP, two JCP squads, moles, wasp, it'll look epic, so, yeah, let's do that, no, I'm just gonna abandon my nuclear center, to be honest, okay. Okay, killing that one Delta because it's being a little bit annoying at this point. Okay, so it looks like Blue is not going to attack. Uh, and I don't think Green is either. I think they both just put a bunch of Vikings over here in front of their base and some torpedo platforms. Uh, just like both me and my ally has done. So, yeah, no Navy battle as I wanted. Okay. Ooh, Wasp down, Seraphim just killed it. Okay, let's see, let's go, go, go. Okay, okay, nice. Let's try and kill the Seraphim before he goes back. Ah, oh, he's going back. 
Stop hiding, Seraphim. Come out. Fight. Fight us like a man. Okay, well, it, it is kind of funny how Seraphim's like, Confederation bless you. But, yeah, nothing blesses Seraphim. Poor Seraphim gets bullied by Hawks. Man. Poor Seraphim. Well, anyways, I'm gonna scout uh, both blue and green. Oh, and as that happens, uh, Vertex comes in, uh, snipes my nuclear center. Uh, wait, is that only five? That was only... F I think that was only five Vertex. Did five Vertex seriously one-shot a nuclear center? Wow. Nuclear centers are very weakly armored. I never actually anticipated that. Okay, well, we can speed this up a little bit. Okay, so, yeah, let's both attack. Okay, we got a pretty good squad. I don't have much, but I still have heroes. Okay, and so while we attack, I'm getting this big container. And, okay, here's the action. Let's see if we can kill this Seraphim. This Seraphim is being badly microed. Seraphim down. Okay, turrets here to intercept the, the Vikings from dealing... Lots of damage to my partner. Okay, so Vikings down, of course, but I wasted all three of my turrets. Okay, so smart placement with the troops and uh, and good micro with my wasp. Okay, so we can fast forward this a little bit more. Okay, trying to put that acid on my wasp and then falling back, of course. Okay, but there's way too many Zeus. This is an overwhelming amount of Zeus. And we have to fall back. My partner invested a lot in porcupines to kill a Seraphim. But in turn, that made too many Zeus. We needed more Jaguars, to be honest. Okay. And so regrouping some more units over here. Uh, which will be useful later on. Oh, and my partner has scouted that green is going for a level 3 uh, shipyard. And yeah, there are no vikings or whatever here. But I have some uh, alligators, and so him going for Poseidons will not be a good idea for him. Okay. And so a container is going to spawn right here, of course. Okay. So we are both moving our armies up here so we can attack green once again. Oh, but green has a HQ level 5 and a construction yard over here. This might be a construction yard. I, I can't tell what that is. Might be just might just be another airfield. But I think he he's able to build a space system here. I think that the construction yard can reach Okay, well I tell my partner to move over here and scout this area with Hawks to make sure there are no Seraphim. Okay, so let's forward this a little bit uh, so we can get into the action. Since this is a very, very long battle. Okay, so scouting. And nothing out of the ordinary except this. Okay, space system. And so let's let's uh, let's see if we can attack. Okay, gold, gold attack boost. Seven hawks going in for the attack. Let's see if seven hawks can do this. Nice. Okay. So it requires all seven to shoot uh, a space system under construction to kill it. Okay. Meanwhile, five vertex can destroy an already built uh, nuclear center. But anyways, uh, Seraphim out. Seraphim can actually detect units under the fog, which makes Seraphim very, very good uh, at anti-chameleon. But I have backup chameleons, and so let's go, let's do this. Blue has lots of vertex. Okay, and so this is an overwhelming amount. Moles are in. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh no, my mole's going away. 
Okay, but my mole's hiding right now. Okay, turret's out. Let's deal some damage. Uh, the goal here is to kill as many things as possible. Let's go, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, and... Oh no, wasp. No, no, no. No, no, where's my wasp? Here it is. Why am I not using my wasp? Okay, well, my mole died, and my wasp died. Yeah, my heroes are dead. Poor heroes. Man, I can't wait to test the Leviathan. Imagine how fun that would be. Okay, so... Yeah. Healing as much damage as possible uh, while keeping uh, my chameleon on and safeguarded by the, by the chameleon against Vertex. Okay, and moving my uh, alligators over here to capture this container. Okay, and so, boom, I got space striked. Very evident. And here's the space system, as I thought, I thought. But it wasn't here, it was here. Space system. Man, I should have went for the nuclear launcher. Sometimes it's all about the victory instead of the epicness, but other times it's all about the epicness over the victory. And me not going for a nuclear center is actually kind of good. Because these battles were very epic and I actually don't regret it. Okay, porcupine shooting at the vertex can come on. I think that vertex died. Anyways, these vertex are being very annoying. Very pesky vertex. Okay, Seraphim is out. Oh no, come on. I don't like Seraphim. <laughs> well, I mean, I like Seraphim, but I really don't want to face Seraphim. That's what I mean. Thor's out. Ooh, that was a solid shot. Wow. Okay, well, yeah, this, this army's not going to cut it. This army's not going to do anything. Okay, and as that happens, Green starts to rebuild, and yeah, nothing's gonna happen. And we have to fall back our troops a little bit, while I start Hawk production in order to destroy this space system. Okay, well, I, I don't really see any defenses over here. And so, this, I might take advantage of this, but I don't know. There might be a ton of torrents here, though, and this is a, a very small passage. Okay. So it looks like Vertex tried to attack us. Yeah. Okay, lots of defenses here on the Navy from my ally. Okay, so how many Hawks is that? One, two, three, four, five. Can five Hawks kill a space system? Okay. Oh no, no, Vertex coming in, no hope. Vertex are just gonna snipe all of my hawks. And no, 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 maneuver, maneuver. Oh, we lost it. He didn't even cancel the space system strike too. So, yeah, that's not gonna be good. Okay, yeah, well, this Vertex is very annoying. I had to, had to micro in order to, uh, Activate my chameleon. Of course, you guys can see there's two chameleons activated, but only one chameleon ring. So, yeah, that's a visual bug. And I don't know why, but Mole always keeps digging in, even though uh, I tell Mole to move. So, yeah. Space strike here again. Uh, I think they're just bullying, at, bullying me at this point. Yeah. Okay. And Blue's Vertex are here, have to activate all my Chameleons. Yeah. I mean, there's not really too much to say about that. Let's fast forward. Boom. Thor's. Should have predicted that, too. Okay. Okay, so at this point, I was really like, 
Oh man, we should have won for the nuke. I was kind of regretting my choice of making the battle more epic. But, might be actually, it might actually be very, very nice, you know? Okay, so producing some alligators in order to maybe organize a strike here by a navy. So I can, because if we strike here by the navy, we will basically have a small passageway for our ground troops to come in uh, through this route. And so that's what I'm hoping for. And boom, space strike just killed him. Man. Oh my. Oh man. That's a lot of Thors. Okay, Vertex here as well. Okay, so basically we both got Space Strike, and it's the 36th minute. And yeah, we're just trying to hold out. Hold out as long as possible and maybe organize a Counter Strike. Meanwhile, there's a container over here. Okay, so my base is looking very poor at this moment. Not too many supply centers. Uh, I count one, two, three, four supply centers. Very poor. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six supply centers for my ally. Together, that's only ten. Meanwhile, there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six from blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah. They have four extra supply centers than us, but that's not going to stop us from winning. Okay, so we're going to win. At least I hope. Okay, and so big container over here Hidden in the forest. That's very very nice Although I don't see a forest, but that unit must be classified as a forest Okay, so my partner says risk it for the biscuit uh, So because we're planning on a, a large-scale attack like with everything we got as like a last resort kind of attack Okay, complimenting my partner for that intercept, very nice. Wow, look at this. Wow. Just walling out the entire base. I wonder if Green did that. Okay, it doesn't look like Green did it. But... Okay, I guess Blue walled out this area as well. Okay, so Yellow is moving out his troops. And I said, let's end everything, okay? Uh, including Navy and air and everything we have Okay, and so well, obviously we're not gonna attack this area. This area is probably fortified with torrents uh, Typhoons walls and whatnot another space strike Okay, and And Thor's yeah HQ gone But them using their Thors is very nice, uh, so we might be able to attack. Nice, okay. So let's attack. Uh, we, let's actually attack somewhere around here. Because there are barely any defenses other than rocket towers and bunkers. Along with some Zeus over here. A bunch of anti-air towers. From blue to shield against this. Okay. So yeah, let's charge, charge, let's kill them. Okay, naval strike, let's go, let's do this. That's a huge navy, he's not gonna be able to defend this. Wow, blue loves walling up the place. Okay, chameleon activated, porcupines, jaguars, even the mole is here. Okay, so, okay, here's a tactic you guys might learn and uh, might find interesting okay so placing a mole's turret uh, right next to the rocket tower is a very good idea because the rocket tower cannot fire at that the rocket tower just like the torrent and the mammoth uh, have to fire at least a couple cells away because they fire vertically and all vertical launching uh, all vertical shooters cannot shoot to the uh, cell right next to them and so, place your turrets over there, they cannot be engaged by the rocket towers. And that is also very good, uh, very good tactic you guys might learn, and that you guys might find interesting. Okay, 
And so this is a large scale attack with the navy, hawks, chameleons, moles, everything we got. Okay. Ooh, space system is building up. Kind of fearing that he might space right here. Okay, so I put on that naval strike boost because I have more navy than anything else. Hawks down. Man, this is gonna be a tough battle. Literally everything is almost destroyed but my navy. Okay, so moving in. Ooh, Seraphim. I want Seraphim to come closer so I can engage it with my uh, air defense of my gators. Come on, Seraphim, get closer. Come on. Get closer. There we go. Mole's turret versus Cerberus? Nah, Mole died. Well, not Mole. Mole's turret died. Boo, man, Cerberus is gone. Okay. So destroying these uh, no, walls because, yeah, who wants these walls in the way? Okay, I tell my partner to move here. We have lit we literally have nothing left. And we're getting space strike. Now what do you know, what do you know? Come on. Okay. So, all I have over here is gators, uh, chameleon, mole, Okay, boom. Space system down, but look how many hawks were lost. He, my ally only has three hawks remaining. I thought he had like 16, 12 hawks. 12 to 16 hawks. Okay, so spreading out the airfield so they might not all die from a single space strike. Nice. And we finally destroyed that space system. Finally. Nice, 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 of course. Okay, and so applying that vehicle attack boost uh, so that these mole turrets will have extra range. Okay, but Seraphim will always have extra range because naturally air targets will have more range against ground targets. Okay, so I'm just trying to be pesky and annoying by applying my turrets one by one so that uh, Blue's army will have to come in, come out, come in, and come out over and over again. So basically getting more activity points for my own team just in case if the battle lasts longer uh, and goes up to the one hour limit. And so let's fast forward. My ally is protecting our bases with the Hawks, of course. And we will never give up, uh, true, true. Killing as many factories as possible, uh, with my, with my, uh, mole, being pesky. Okay, and so, yeah, putting these turrets down with the vehicle attack boost. Since mole is technically classified as a vehicle, it can be repaired by another mole. And it can also... Uh, the drill can actually be, you know, uh, you know how the vehicle attack boost, the gold vehicle attack boost increases range of all, of all firing, of all weapons of any ground targets, uh, okay? So the mole's drill, the firing range of a mole's drill will be increased. Doesn't make sense, but of course, it's a boost, so, yeah. Okay, let's see. Come on, come on, die, Zeus. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so, yeah. Naval Strike Boost actually increases the air, the air defense of the Gators, so that's useful. Okay, fast forward a little bit. Okay, so rebuilding our base as best as possible. These vertex air raids are being very annoying as they are destroying our base very quickly as well. So that's... That's just... I mean... That's exactly what I expected, to be honest.
Okay, well, there's no more hawks. No airfields equals no hawks. Okay, trying to attack from a different angle this time. And we're doing good progress too. Okay, and... Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So we have the activity advantage. Okay, come on, come on. We have an activity advantage of almost two times. We just have to win. Come on. Oh man, it's a very laggy on sandbox. Okay, moving my navy down south so I can protect my base. Because we have the activity advantage, we just need to hold out. Common defense. Okay, my partner's building up to this point. Okay, come on. Come on, we just need to hold out for three minutes. Yeah, these vertex. Man. Oh man, come on, come on. We're holding off. Just a couple more minutes. Just two more minutes. Come on. Sending everything I have, all the everything, even the mole. Come on. Oh, come on, please no, please no. We're gonna win, just please no. And this is the last building. It's gone. We lost, but good game. They played well. And this was a lot of fun.